Hi guys, it's Sophie from Just Fabrics and today we're going to show you how to make a DIY fabric trick-or-treat basket. For this make we'll be using three different contrasting Halloween fabrics. We'll be using trick-or-treat multi, ghostly florals multi and spooky skulls black. You will also need a ruler, an iron, a sewing machine, scissors, some tailor's chalk, pins, a cutting mat, a needle and thread and a rotary cutter. The first thing you need to do is to cut out your outer pieces for the trick-or-treat bag. So this is going to be 18 centimetres by 22 centimetres and you're going to cut two pieces that are the same size. The next thing you need to do is to cut out the fabric for your lining and this needs to be the same size so it'll be 18 by 22 centimetres. The next thing you need to do is get another contrasting fabric and this will be your strap and that piece is going to be 6 centimetres by 27 centimetres. The, the next thing you want to do is to box the corners on the lining and the face fabric. So we're going to use a 5 by 5 centimetre square at the bottom of the lining and the main fabric. So the next thing you need to do is take the lining pieces and mark a six centimetre gap on the right hand side. This will work as your opening for when you turn the trick or treat bag the right side out. Once you've marked the opening what you want to do is take the lining pieces and the main fabric and put them right sides together and we're going to stitch along this long side, the bottom side and this side and then this long side, the bottom side, but leave the gap for the opening where you've marked with the pencil. Once you've stitched the sides, what you need to do is pin and sew the boxed corners. So if you take them and align the already stitched seams either side and then take a pin, and pin up both bottoms of the lining fabric and the face fabric and then stitch along that line. Fold the raw edges inwards for the fabric strap and press with an iron. Once you've ironed the strap, you just need to stitch along the long edge to keep it nice and secure. The next thing we're going to do is take the face fabric and attach the strap to the inside, lining it up with the seams on both sides. You need to pin this in place. Once you've secured the strap with the pins, you need to take the lining fabric and turn it right side out. And then this is also going to be pinned to the face fabric. Once you've turned it right side out, you can then put the right sides together and line up the seams like before. You can replace the pin that's holding the strap in place and pin through all three layers of fabric. Once you've secured the seams, you can then pin or secure the top edge of the rest of the bag, ready for stitching. Once you've stitched the top of the bag, you just need to find the opening that you left earlier and turn it the right side out. Once you've turned the fabric bag the right way out, you just need to stitch up the gap that you've made with a slip stitch. Now you have your Halloween trick or treat fabric basket. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this make. We've got lots more how to videos on the website and on our social media.